In 1982, wildlife biologists decided to try and bring bald eagles back to Massachusetts to nest. Bald eagles are native to Massachusetts, but they hadn't nested here since 1906. Quabbin Reservoir was chosen as a perfect habitat. It has lots of water and fish and very tall trees, all great habitat for bald eagles. At about the age of five or six weeks, bald eagle chicks were brought to Massachusetts from Nova Scotia with the help of the Canadian government. By bringing them to Massachusetts at such a young age, the hope was that they would imprint, they would remember Massachusetts as their home and return here to nest. They were brought to Quabbin Reservoir and placed in hacking towers, and they stayed there for about 12 weeks. The bald eagle chicks were carefully monitored while they were in the hacking tower. The biologists fed them fish and carrion, which are natural foods eagles eat. They were fed from behind a blind so the eagles would never think the humans were their parents. When they were ready to fly, the tower was opened and they were released. Between 1982 and 1988, 41 eagles were released at Quabbin. In 1988, the biologists discovered a housekeeping nest, a nest that was under construction. Their hope was that two eagles were getting ready to mate, to have chicks. In 1989, they discovered two bald eagle nests in, at Quabbin Reservoir, and altogether three chicks were born in Massachusetts the first time since 1906. Today, Massachusetts has over 70 active bald eagle nests throughout the state. Adult bald eagles are very easy to recognize. They have white head and tail feathers. They eat fish as their primary food source. However, Massachusetts also has a very healthy population of juvenile bald eagles. Juvenile bald eagles have all dark feathers until they are about five years of age. Bald eagles will also eat carrion. Bald eagles have a wonderful story. They were brought back from the brink of extinction because humans cared enough not to let them disappear. Pay attention when you are around large lakes and big trees and you may just see a bald eagle in your neighborhood.